What's up everybody, Rick here, and two Pokemon events were just announced, and I thought we could uh, try to talk about it a little bit and maybe predict what's going to be shown in both of them. Uh, the first of this event is going to happen actually tomorrow. It's a press conference, Pokemon press conference at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 3, uh, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. And the second one is a Pokemon Sword and Shield a Direct, which is going to be next week on June 5th at 6 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, let's start with the press conference. Last year, they had a similar event. Um, I went over it a little bit to like refresh my memory of what it was about. It lasted 45, around 45, 46 minutes and was mainly about uh, Pokemon Quest coming to mobile and Switch. Pokemon Let's Go. That was the big reveal of Pokemon Let's Go. Um, they revealed the game, the mechanics. They went like really in, like more in-depth than you would think. And um, the last thing they announced was uh, this little thing over here, the Pokeball Plus accessory that goes with Pokemon Let's Go and integrates also with Pokemon Go. Um, based on that, uh, I'm going to say that like we should lower our expectation for tomorrow's event. Like I just told you last year they had 45 minutes and they talked about three things, two of which were games. And the last one was just the accessory. And so I think they're gonna like pick a few things and go really in depth. The thing that is weird though, is that there is a Pokemon Sword and Shield Direct, which makes you think, are they gonna really go in depth on Pokemon Sword and Shield tomorrow, or are they going to concentrate on something else? And I'm thinking both. So there was talk a few weeks ago of a partnership between the Pokemon company and DNA to make mobile game. I'm thinking we're going to see that DNA mobile game tomorrow, but also they're going to give some kind of presentation on Sword and Shield. Maybe not as in-depth as the Direct will be, but they will still mention Sword and Shield and um, talk about the game in some capacity. Uh, what else can we expect? I'm thinking other than the mobile game and Sword and Shield, like can we expect a brand new game announcement? Uh, that's what I'm hoping for personally. Um, apart from Gen 8, I think the other marketing is going to be towards Gen 8, but that doesn't stop them from announcing something else. Last year, oh, there was one more thing last year that I forgot to mention is uh, apart from these three things that they talked in depth about, they also mentioned that a new core Pokemon was going to come out uh, the year after, which is this year, and it was Sword and Shield. So having one Pokemon on the way, one Pokemon game on the way, doesn't stop them from talking about future projects. And so I'm thinking there might be a chance we hear about the next Pokemon game, like the one coming after Sword and Shield. Uh, that's my hope, personally. And even if it's not the next uh, mainline core Pokemon game, like some kind of side uh, side game that would be interesting. Pokemon Snap. Why is Pokemon Snap not on Switch? Why was Pokemon Snap not on Wii U to begin with? But that's another story. Why is Pokemon Snap not on Switch? Or any, like, I'd, I'd play Pokemon Stadium again. Any kind of uh, spin-off, but a good spin-off, you know? There's so many Pokemon spin-off that are not even worth um, your time, really, frankly. And so that's uh, what I'm hoping for. Other than that, I don't really know that we can expect much from that event. For the Pokemon Direct that's happening next week, now, of course, I'm expecting a full-blown uh, deep dive into Pokemon Sword and Shield. I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't think they said how long it was going to be. Uh, it just says if you're excited for more detail on Sword and Shield. So, yeah, it has no time frame. Uh, they usually give a time frame for those, though. That's weird. But I'm sure we're going to get a lot more details on game. Some people have been speculating, can we finally control the camera? That would be interesting to see. Personally, I don't think we're going to be able to control the camera. The Pokemon company doesn't really like to shake things up. So I'm thinking this is going to be a fairly traditional Pokemon game, but just not on Switch. And I wouldn't be surprised even if they ripped off a lot of new things that were in Let's Go that people actually appreciated, like the Pokemon following you around, or uh, what else from Let's Go did people like? Oh, the TM being gone, and that was actually also in X and Y. 
uh, or was it Sun and Moon? It was in Sun and Moon. And so maybe they, they're going to keep that, the TM being gone, because that's a good quality of life improvement. But just the Pokemon following you was so nice. They should keep that. Having the Pokemon on the map was also something that a lot of people liked and let's go, that you could see them and avoid them if you didn't want to fight. The issue with that is that in a brand new generation Pokemon game, you don't know what the Pokemons are. And so seeing them on the map kind of spoils the surprise of like, what is it going to be? You know, that excitement when you're in a random encounter and you don't know if you're going to, if a brand new Pokemon is going to pop up, one that you've never seen before. So yeah, but I think they're going to strip most of these away and we're going to get a very traditional Pokemon game when it's all said and done, but just a bit prettier because it's on Switch. The world a bit bigger. I'm hoping the world is at least bigger. Um, what we can speculate on, though, is that uh, what kind of new mechanic they're going to add on because they've been doing that for a couple of generations now, like adding the Z moves last time, and there have been rumors of armored evolution would be the big uh, gimmick this time. And, of course, we saw armored Mewtwo and the and the promotional uh, material for the next Pokemon movie. So I'm thinking, was that Armored Mewtwo trademark just for the movie? Or can we expect something else, something related to the game with Armored Pokemon? Because really, Sword, Shield, Armor, it would fit perfectly, you know? Um, so Armored Pokemon would be interesting. It would be something like that would sincerely draw me in because it's kind of weird you know like what does pikachu with a normal looks like i want to see it i want to know about it um what else can we expect i think we're gonna see maybe the evolutions of the starter though maybe they might want to keep that for later they'll show us new pokemons that's for sure but i wonder if we'll see the evolutions of the starter because really that plays a big part in how I choose my starter, like what it's going to end up being. So I'd like to see the evolutions. Maybe they won't show it. Maybe they'll wait for later in the promotion campaign to show them. The thing is, this Pokemon Direct is happening one week, exactly one week, I think, before uh, E3 and before Nintendo's Direct at E3. So what does that mean for Pokemon at E3? Of course, it's going to be there. But if you look at the past, historically, Pokemon has not really been heavily featured in uh, the Nintendo Directs at E3. Of course, there was that infamous uh, 2017 E3 where they just said, oh, we're working hard on a Pokemon for the next generation. And they were also showing off uh, Pokemon at that time. But like, I mean, a heavy deep dive featured on Pokemon at the Nintendo E3 Direct never really happened and so what they tend to do is more play the game during the tree house so that i'm expecting i'm expecting them to uh go into a tree house segment of maybe half an hour an hour of just them playing the game and uh, walking around and showing people uh, what it looks like but for the direct like i'm not surprised that they would do their own event because the pokemon company we all know likes to do their own thing so that's no surprise there uh, so yeah, these are my predictions. So for the press conference tomorrow, I'm not expecting much. Maybe a reveal of a new game that we haven't heard about. Uh, probably the mobile game, but I'd like something on Switch. Uh, who knows if they're going to do something related to Detective Pikachu because the movie just came out, was fairly successful. So that might be something. Maybe P Detective Pikachu is coming to Switch. And uh, of course, it's a Pokemon press conference so it doesn't only have to be game they could be talking about uh, the anime the movie uh, merchandise and other type of things like that and for the direct i'm just expecting a deep dive into sword and shield but i know that like deep down i know they're not gonna shake the formula too much i'm not expecting us to be able to control the camera i wish we were able to but i don't think that's gonna happen and at most I think we're going to see some new gimmick that makes this different than the previous generations. And of course, lots of new Pokemon. Uh, let me know what you guys think is going to happen in both of these events in the comments below. And be sure to come back for my reactions 
to both of these events that will be posted to this channel. That was Rick. Thank you and have a nice day.